Am I live? Okay. Y'all, I literally just recorded this whole entire video and it girl wasn't even recording. Like. But anyway. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alana, and today we are talking about the surgery list. As you know, that's what the title said. Um, this is gonna be yet another video in my BBL series. And I just want to, before I get into this video, I want you to know um, anything that I don't talk about, I definitely want y'all to let me know, okay? I really want this to be very informative and I want you to be like, basically know everything before you get there. So um, anything I don't talk about, like I said, just let me know. I will definitely make another video and you know, whatever. And to get into this hair, girl, this is a failed um, braid out. So excuse that. Um, I don't mind it, but it's not the best braid out. Um, yeah, so let's get into this video. All right, so of course, by this time you had already paid for your surgery. Um, I want to make sure that I'm looking cute. My hair, honestly, but whatever. Okay, so um, okay. So by this time you already got paid, you pay for your surgery, um, and you've already paid for your flight. So you want to make sure you're gonna be there between five and seven days. Of course, your doctor would have already told you this, but you do want to make sure that you are there at least six days okay because during this time you're going to be getting all these massages your drainage massages and you're going to be getting a lot of post-op care with your doctor so you need to make sure you're there at least six days like i would not do the five i would do at least excuse me at least six days um and quite frankly i would do even go eight to nine days if you have the time and if you have the funds to do so i would go at least eight to nine days too because you're going to need that full week those full seven days post-op to recoup from the surgery because i'm telling you when it's time for you to go ahead and go back home on the plane sis you're gonna need all the energy you can get i'm telling you it's it's just not gonna be pretty so i would definitely stay eight to nine days if it's possible um so let's just get right into this list um these are all things outside of your basic girl supply oh no yeah i'm trying to record this video in my car because I just wanted a different scenery and the lighting was good and I like talking in my car. So if I'm shooing away a fly girl, just don't mind it. But um, so, okay, yeah, potty training pads. So you know those pads that dogs um, get potty trained on? You want those or those um, pads where they put older people on. And also you might want some Depends as well because you're going to be bleeding for at least three days from your incisions and you're going to be having a lot of fluid so you're going to be extremely moist and stuff so these pads are going to be on the bed you want to put these on the um sheet where you're going to be laying down or wherever you're going to lay down at you want to make sure you put these pads down to catch all that fluid because if not it will you will bleed onto the sheets into the mattress pad into all of that stuff so you want to make sure you put the pads down you're going to need at least two to three packs of these depending on how many comes in a pack because you want to use these every day at least for three days and if you bleed on them of course you have to change it so just keep that in mind as well um the next thing i have on my list are poise feminine pads these are the ones that i use now i like the, these poise ones because they're super thick and also they don't have wings and on top of that not only do they catch all that fluid when you put them directly on your um on your incision but it also helps with your compression now in this video i'm not going to talk about compression i'll talk about that in, in the post-op care video but the feminine pads help for compression and they also help for catching all that fluid so even out after you're done bleeding and you leaking and stuff you can also use the poise pads for the compression um goes into my next point you're going to need an extra pair of an extra pair of compression socks now you're gonna wake up in compression socks already. They're gonna be white or nude and they're gonna be bloody. So with that being said, you're gonna need an extra pair that are at least a darker color, maybe black. I would, I got black. Now, it I, it doesn't matter where you get them from. You can get them from Amazon or you can get them from the store, but you just wanna make sure they're high compression. You're gonna be wearing these compression socks for seven days, literally seven days straight. So you might want two to three pair depending on how often you change your socks. That depends on you. But um, yeah. Girl, you're going to be wearing them everywhere. Like, they're going to be, like, a part of you. They're going to be second skin. Because when I tell you, as soon as you get out, get out the shower, you put on your compression socks. And that is 
crucial to post-op care. So make sure you get your compression socks. So the next thing I wanna talk about is the first stage Faha. So you're gonna get the, the first stage Faha you're gonna wake up in, right? Then you wanna get an extra one, okay? I recommend buying the extra one, um, y'all. It's people out here being nosy. Anyway, so your first stage Faha, you want to get an extra one because like I said, you're going to be bleeding. You're going to be wet all the time. It's just going to be not pretty. So when you get in the shower and then you get out of the shower, you want to have a clean Faha. So and that way you can you can interchange them. You can wash one, um, air dry them. You don't want to dry. You're not going to be able to uh, dry it in the washer. So you're going to wash one, air dry one, wash one, air dry one. So get an extra one. They run about $180 when I got mine. So last year, my first stage Faha from Mejio Aesthetics was $180. But I recommend buying it from your surgery center because you want the one that you woke up in. You want two of the same one. So you can keep that same vibe. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to get one. Mine had a zipper on it. You don't want the one with a zipper and then buy an extra one and it got latches. Because it's just going to be too hard to keep up with. Like you're going to be wearing the same one for three weeks straight. So you might as well just get the same vibe. You know what I'm saying? So I recommend buying it from your surgery center. But if not, there's plenty of shops in Miami that have that are dedicated to surgeries, uh, BBLs um, specifically. But there's plenty of shops around and you can also order them online. But again, I would just go ahead and order it from the surgery center so you know it fits, you know what size because they're going to put you in it. And you can just say, hey, what size do I have on? They, you might have on, I had on the XL. So um, since I had on the XL, I went ahead and bought another one. Okay, so just so it's easier for you also you're going to need a bbl pillow so now if you don't get the bbl package like i did which um the bbl pillow will come in your package you're going to need a bbl pillow now again you can order this online from plenty of shops online or you can buy it on amazon or you can buy it from surgery shops um around miami but this is something that you probably want to have before you get to miami so you want just so you don't have to wait on it or anything like that so, because, girl, <laughs> Corona, <laughs> I ain't got that Rona, but it was something in my throat for a second. <laughs> but anyway, you're going to need the BBL pillow, sis. What, whoever you get it from, you're going to need one because you're going to need it on the way back to, on the flight back. And you're going to also need it when you're riding around, um, going to your appointments. But here's the thing. I didn't use my BBL pillow until I got on my flight because I was just so stiff, like, if you sit down for two seconds, I kid you not, it's going to feel like you're a statue who sat for a hundred years and tried to stand. Like, I promise you, you're going to be so stiff. So when I rode around in the car, I literally rode on my knees. I rode on all fours or I did on my stomach flat because I just couldn't do it. Like, I cannot do that BBL pillow. So just keep that in mind as well. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is female urinal. So if you don't get nothing else on this list, sis, please get a female urinal because when I tell you that it's going to save your life, you're going to pee at least 15 times a day because of all the fluid in your body. And with that being said, taking on and off your faha and all of that stuff you have underneath your faha for 15 times straight, having the strength of a newborn, it ain't going to work. Ain't going to happen nothing so go ahead and get you a female urinal i order mine from amazon i do not know a store that you can buy this in like in store so i recommend buying this on amazon and having one this item before miami okay now some of this stuff you can buy when you're in miami like baby wipes and stuff like that but you're going to need the female urinal prior to miami okay um that goes on to my next point baby wipes so you're going to need baby wipes because when you go number two y'all it's going to be a circus, like for real. You're going to be the clown and you're going to be inside the circus. Because when I tell you, it's going to be two rocks, okay? Your butt cheeks are two hard rocks. And trying to fit a baby pebble through those um, rocks or whatever, like, sis. When I tell you that's going to be a task, it's going to be a very hard task. So go ahead and get you some baby wipes and some stool softener, okay? Because... The stool softener is going to help you soften your stool, of course, and it's going to help you from having a very hard number two 
considering your butt cheeks are so hard it's gonna it's just gonna make it easier for you and the baby wipes are for you to of course clean yourself afterwards and because the toilet paper just not gonna get the job done i'm telling you your toilet paper is going to literally come out as a slither because <laughs> it's going to get stuck in your butt cheeks and it's going to rip off so don't even worry about it no no don't do it no. <laughs> no but i'm dead serious y'all like it's not gonna happen so the next thing you want to get off this list um is that's also a must is the arnicare gel now the arnicare gel you can buy this in some surgery centers like mia aesthetic soda in the post-op section or you can buy it online you can buy it on amazon um and there's other stores that sell it too online i think walmart and target sell, sell it online too but you want to make sure you get this arnicare gel because it's going to help with the bruising it's going to help with the muscle pains and it's going to help with the stiffness so the arnicare gel is also a must so the female urinal and the arnicare gel now what I did was I would get in the shower. I would put on the Arnicare gel everywhere that I had lipo. So like my stomach and uh, my abdomen and my back and stuff like that. And I also put it on my butt. So you want to put this Arnicare gel on after the shower. Don't put lotion on these areas. You want to just put the Arnicare gel. And then if you want to put like Vaseline or something on, okay, that's cool. But I wouldn't put um, lotion on, honestly, just because you're going to be having all that stuff on. And it's just not going to be worth it. So yeah make sure you get that arnicare gel you're gonna need a whole lot of that um like a whole lot whole lot so go ahead and get a couple of tubes um yes it's please so the next thing on my list i have are foam boards ad boards and a backboard so the foam boards again if you get the bbl package it's going to come with your bbl package along with your bbl pillow and your first stage faha and your massages however if you don't get the bbl package you want to make sure you have three foam boards or six foam boards, I'm sorry, because you're going to be wearing three at a time. And you, you want an extra three because, again, you're going to be bleeding. You're going to have a lot of fluid. So once those get icky, you, you can change them. You know what I'm saying? So, like, what I did was I had three from the doctor that they, that, and can't talk, three from the doctor that they gave me. And then I ordered some, and I got three. Okay, so when those got nasty from the doctor, I just changed mine out, and then I just wore the ones that were clean. So, um, these are essential. These are not, these are not something that you can skip. The ad board, um, is not something you can skip because it's going to go on top of your faha and that's to keep your abs and your, your abdomen, you know, compressed and together. Now the backboard is an op it's optional because... The ad board gives you that little dip in your back, like that little, that little whoop and that zoop and that boop. <laughs> okay, I'm done playing. No, but it gives you like that dip. So if you want that natural looking, not natural, but if you want that like video vixen, like dip in the back with the big booty type of look, the ab, I mean, the backboard is for you. I did not wear the backboard because it was very uncomfortable and I just couldn't do it. So my back was hurting. I couldn't do it. So I stopped wearing that um, backboard. So but honestly it's up to you now your your skin is like um silly putty so you want to be sure that you're wearing it consistently because if you really wear it you're gonna have the dip in your back but again it's all about your preference um you're gonna also need tank tops because you're gonna basically have your tank top and then your faha your um you're gonna have the tank top underneath your faha but the tank top serves as a barrier between your foam board and your ad board and your backboard and your faha because all that stuff on top of your skin is gonna, it might irritate your skin. So you wanna make sure you have on a tank top at least two to two two to three days after post-op, start wearing your tank top. Now these tank tops don't need to be tight, sis. Don't don't get no fitted tee now. Please don't, cause it's gonna burn. You need a looser one. Um, I would say like, not tight like this. I would say something that's kind of comfortable, but not too loose. It's your, whatever you prefer, but don't get it tight. Don't get it super tight. And then the last couple of things on my list are the loose fitting dresses. Um, you want some slides and you want a low maintenance hairstyle. All these things that you can um, get from like Target and stuff like that, whatever. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure you have loose fitting stuff, nothing too tight, low maintenance hairstyle. So you can just be on go because you're definitely not going to have the energy to do anything. Now, make sure, like I said, comment down below and um, let me know whatever you want to know. What I should add in my next video. I know I'm talking fast, but it's because I literally only have 15 minutes and that's not enough. But it's okay, y'all. Thank you for stopping by. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And am I cute? <laughs> Bye, y'all.